Today we're in a soybean field that's not too far away from harvest. We're going to talk a little bit about white mold disease or sclerotinia stem rot. It's found all across Canada, through the United States and down through South America, especially in Brazil. And it can affect yields by as much as 50%. So we're going to start looking at this disease starting at the harvest cycle. If you take a look here, we've got a soybean plant that's affected with white mold. Inside we see the sclerotia. They're about a half an inch long by about an eighth of an inch wide black body, storage body. And basically what happens is during harvest, those storage bodies go back and fall back onto the soil surface. Next year, if a soybean crop is grown in that same field and the conditions are ideal, and we're talking about ideal conditions, it's about 20 to 25 degrees Celsius with cool, damp, moist soils. And usually we need about 10 days in a row of consecutive damp soil conditions for the disease to start. What happens is that an apothecia, a fruiting body, comes up on the soil surface. It produces millions of spores and those spores attach onto a dead or dying flower at each node. From there basically the plant shuts down. The disease overtakes it and prevents the flow of nutrients and water up throughout the plant. One problem occurs is that if you've got one plant that has the disease, it can fall over and affect the plant next to it. So it can be quite critical, this disease. Again, it can affect yields by as much as 50%. In future videos, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the control measures that we can use to help combat white mold. Mm -hmm.